In today's video we are going to talk about how soon is too soon to propose, a few things to keep in mind and signs that you're ready to pop the question. Sometimes, you meet a person, and everything just falls into place. You suddenly understand why all the relationships that came before didn't work out. You don't have a single doubt that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, and you might have even imagined the proposal and their acceptance. The future unfolds in front of you however that looks to you. A destination wedding, an enormous event, or a private ceremony with a justice of the peace, children or pets. Buying a home or opting for apartment living. There are so many choices to make that the potential feels limitless. But is it the right time to propose? How soon is too soon? How soon is too soon to propose? There are many considerations when it comes to popping this very important question. However, most experts suggest that one year is a good minimum for a relationship before considering marriage. It allows you to get beyond the initial cloud of lust in order to see if you have the basic compatibility required to successfully navigate a long-term relationship. While the Beatles told us that all we need is love, relationships need quite a bit more to thrive. While you may know already that you genuinely love the one you're with, are you sure you have what it takes to be married, to stay married, and to stay happy together? 5 Things to Consider Before Proposing 1. Does your vision for the future align? Before you ask them to marry you, do you know if your vision for the future aligns with theirs? Is it something you've talked about? You don't want to propose to someone who doesn't even want to get married. That's not just a major misstep. It's a sign you aren't ready if you haven't talked about what you both want for the future. It's more than just marriage, however. You should be talking about where and how you want to live. What does the day-to-day -day look like? Do you both want kids or pets, neither or both? Knowing that you're sexually compatible and enjoy each other's company is just a start not the whole picture. Consider if you're on the same page about the future before you ask them to share yours. 2. Are you both financially stable? Financially stability is more important than you think. It's possible only one of you are financially stable or neither of you are, but you need to see if you are both trying to be. Do you know their spending habits? Have you talked about how much debt you both have? When you get married, their debt becomes yours. Are you ready for that? Talking about money might be uncomfortable, but it's necessary long before you pop that question. How will bills be sorted? Will you share accounts or keep your own? Are they a saver or a spender? Talking about these things will help you figure out if this is a person you can marry. After all, if you marry them, you'll be living with their spending habits. 3. Do you have compatible values? You might want the same future. You might even have come through the financial hurdles with flying colors. Do you have compatible values? This is likely the most essential consideration when you think about partnering someone for life. Do your values align with theirs? Are they even compatible? If they're wearing a mega hat and you are a big time ally at every pride parade, you're going to run into big issues. If they're helping prop up the patriarchy while you're trying to dismantle it, you're going to be in trouble. If you really think you want to marry this person, you should have more than a surface idea of their basic value system. 4. Do your friends and family approve? You might think that you don't need anyone's approval. To some extent, that's true. But as a person who has been both married and divorced, I can share this little insight. Your friends and family see your partner better than you do. They may not know them in the same way, but I can guarantee you that they see the problems you're ignoring. If your family and friends aren't enthusiastically supportive, ask why. Go to the people who will be honest with you and find out why they have reservations. Perhaps you'll be able to ease their minds so that they can fully support your choice. But it's possible that they see something wrong with the partnership that they may not be disclosing to you. It could save a lot of heartache if you were open to hearing it. It might hurt your feelings. It might even make you angry. But the people who love you best want what's best for you. They should be your biggest, happiest supporters when it comes to marriage. If they aren't, there's probably a good reason. 5. How well do you communicate and handle conflict? How do the two of you communicate and handle conflict? 
world-renowned relationship psychologists of the Gottman Institute suggest that the single best predictor of relationship success is the ability to turn toward one another. For instance, if you are trying to get your partner's attention or affection or need to address a problem, they're willing to turn toward you rather than turning away or pretending not to see it. If you don't communicate openly and honestly and can't respectfully handle conflict, you're not ready to propose. You're certainly not ready to be married. If you communicate well but they don't, the same holds true. You need to both be ready for the demands that come with making a lifetime commitment to each other.